Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2024. I'm delighted to have joining me in the studio today, Vikas Dhole, Senior Vice President, Product Management at Aspentech. Vikas, thank you so much for coming down to the Energy Connect studio. You're welcome, thank you. Great opportunity to be here. Thank you. To start off, here at Adipec, AI is at the forefront of the discussion this year. Uh, could you tell us what is the difference between industrial AI and uh, AI, how we understand it? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, Aspentech is in the business of providing asset optimization solutions uh, for, the, for the heavy industries over the last several years. Um, and our foundation is the uh, fundamental models uh, of the equipment and process and the assets, uh, which are, you know, based on physics, chemistry, as well as the underlying thermodynamics and the equipment behavior. Uh, and we have been using AI over the last uh, two decades, incorporating it for modeling and optimization of the assets. So to us, industrial AI means combining the strength of the two. So first principle-based models that have proven themselves over the last several decades in terms of successful and optimized designs, operation, as well as supply chains, and then incorporating AI to scale the, uh, the, uh, the overall solution in terms of number of users, in terms of the size of the problems we address, so that it makes it easier uh, for, our, for our customers. So we don't want to lose track of the foundations that have delivered value to our customers, mm -hmm. but expand on that foundation to deliver more value to our customers. That's an excellent point. And how are oil and gas companies using AI to optimize and make their operations more efficient? A number of ways. So, uh, for example, in our advanced process control um, uh, solution, which is adaptive by itself, uh, leverages AI with deep learning, uh, as well as with generative AI. Uh, so they are using our solution to make it easier for new generation of users, for example, to get advice, to really understand where the opportunities are, what they can unlock, uh, so that we bridge, we help bridge the experience gap uh, for the new engineers. Uh, so this is where AI helps with, uh, with virtual advisor uh, within our advanced process control technology. The embedded AI helps in terms of predicting things that are hard to measure, uh, such as NOx, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are some of the applications. We've also combined the first principle-based proven models that have been used in the industry for decades with AI, with what we call as hybrid modeling technology. So that helps really take advantage of the operating data and minimize the gap between the model and the reality so that it becomes a lot more efficient and accurate for our customers to scale their operations. So those are some of the examples how industrial AI is being used by our customers today. Circling back to your comment earlier about uh, Asmatech's legacy in using AI, yeah. why is Asmatech best poised to sort of give its expertise to the oil and gas industry when it comes to AI? This is because the, the success that we have achieved and the market leading position that we have achieved over the years in really developing and delivering models that our customers are using for optimizing design, for optimizing operations and supply chain. So we're working with a huge footprint of established value creation. Uh, so we are well placed because we already have the footprint and the foundation that our customers are using. And by now embedding and incorporating AI, our customers can scale those applications, bring it to new generation of users, and really create greater value for them in coming years. So that's where we see the importance of uh, industrial AI and why Aspen Tech is uniquely positioned because of our market leadership and our footprint. And what kind of feedback and response have you seen from customers as well as investments? Oh, tremendous excitement because, you know, AI over the last several decades has been seen as a potential opportunity, but it's become real because of advancement in the computing power as well as the scale uh, that it operates with both hardware and software. So it's become real and now we have a very active team within Aspen Tech uh, over 30 uh, AI experts mm. who are working with other experts within our domain uh, provi uh, provision as well as the product lines. Uh, so this helps us combine the strength of what Aspen Tech has been doing together with AI. So uh, that's what is really exciting and we are collaborating and co-innovating with customers because although we are a leader in software, mm. we don't have existing operating assets, which is what our customers do. So working with them, collaborating with them, really understanding the real challenges helps us scale our solution in a much more effective way. And I think collaboration is also the key here at Adipec, the world's largest energy event. 
What are your expectations and what are you showcasing here? We are looking forward to really showcasing our latest solutions in industrial AI together with our uh, product line solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking forward to greater opportunities to collaborate and co-innovate. Uh, at Adipec two years ago, we announced the collaboration with uh, Aramco in carbon capture and utilization technologies. Last year, we made it available to our customers uh, on a limited release basis, so we're continuing to work together. So that's an excellent example of how we are working with leading customers here uh, to develop new solutions, uh, bringing together our customer experiences, their understanding of what the real problems are, together with software products and solutions from Aspen Tech. Vikas, thank you very much for your valuable insights. And it's such a pleasure to have you with us at the Energy Connect studio. Thank you. It's great to be here and looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on our social media and at energyconnect.com. I'll be back with more studio interviews from Adipec 2024. Stay tuned.